Hi guys. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back to our channel. <laughs> <laughs> You've made it to episode two. Mm -hmm. But we want to start off by saying thank you so yes. much for yes. the engagement. Yes. For uh, the feedback. Yeah, that was amazing. Yes, it was. That was amazing. The conversations are starting. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Thanks for the encouragement as well. Yes. And also, what's so exciting is that a number of people have actually um, let us know that they're also on a debt free journey, mm. which is fantastic. Mm. So, we can do this thing together, mm. we can win together. Yep. I'm just so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. So, please keep it up, guys. We're really, really just yeah. feeding off it. It's amazing. Um, and yeah, just to really make sure that we're empowering each, each other. other. You know, we need to yeah, share. We travel this. together in yeah, this journey man. so that we all win. Ah, I love it. Yeah. So yeah, please continue to engage even on this video as yeah. well as our Instagram page. Yes. It is Shalom and Lise. Yes. Um, and then of course we'll continue to comment on the video. Cool. Yeah. So, so your story. <laughs> <laughs> story. Yeah, so I'm telling the SUV story. <laughs> I'm telling the SUV story, and I know a lot of you are back just for that. Mm. But remember, I said don't judge us, guys, because some of the things that yeah I'm we, about we to didn't share, know. We no, didn't know. like I want to hide. <laughs> But you know what? We've been delivered. <laughs> so this is this is where um, it started. It was about two months before yes. we got married, yeah. um, and we just we had just bought the house and we were about to get married. So I think it was yeah about two mm. months, and so we were about to get married. And like we were so excited to get mm. married, guys. Like <laughs> we didn't care about the wedding. Like. We could have had Mari biscuits and Khmer for all Dang. we do there. Or like or like no, but we are getting married. Why must mm. we spend money on everyone else, you know? And this was before our date free journey. But we were just like, mm. let's get married and we were excited because our vision for us, I think that's one thing that fuels us yes, um, for yes, our marriage. Yeah. It fuels us a lot. And so we just wanted to get things going. We're like, let's go for it, man. Um and so after buying the house, we thought, let's just, you know, complete yeah. this picture. Let's put an SUV, you know, in the garage and then ta-da, you know. All things new. Yeah, all things new <laughs> in the new year, you know. Mm. So, yeah, we bought a car. And for me, the biggest motivation was getting rid of his car because his car was horrible, <laughs> guys. Yo, hey, uh, it was nice. It was just sick. It was a very sickly car. <laughs> Almost paid off car. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Don't do that. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> so we took an almost paid off car and traded it in for fresh, brand mm -hmm. new credit. Mm. <laughs> so nice, guys. So that's what we did. We went to uh, well, a dealership and we got our car. We got we bought an Eco Sport. Mm. Very nice car. Mm, really you know. Is, yeah. Yeah, for a family, for a young family, we thought this is great, you know, SUV, but not too big, you know, it's nice. He wasn't keen on it. He was like, yeah. but this is a mom car, but I was I like, had a table car. no, yeah, <laughs> we were like, table no, charge. this is great, guys. And so, um, yeah, we got it. And like I said, we were so excited. We didn't consider the numbers. Yeah. The numbers that we didn't consider were interest. And to our surprise, like a year later, we realized that <laughs> this car has a balloon yeah. residual. Which the whole time we thought there wasn't yeah. a balloon loaded on it. Yeah. And that lady probably told us that there's a balloon. No, but we were too but busy. We were exact, like, oh, yeah, we're no, so in love. Don't care. We're Let's go sign. Yeah. 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 So we just signed and <laughs> took the car and left. And yeah. So about a year after having the car, when mm. we, were, we were already in the, in the debt free journey. Mm. And that time we were like intentional, mm. like proper. And we were interrogating every statement that came in mm. from whichever bank. <laughs> and we were like, what? Hey, man. This Energy. residual? Oh my gosh. <sighs> and then another thing that shocked us was that um, at the bottom of the statement, they have um, the, the amount that they deduct from your account. Mm. And then they split it into two, showing you which portion goes to the interest and which portion goes to the capital. And when we saw that, Hey, yeah. guys at that point <laughs> we were paying about five thousand rand for mm. the, the 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 car yeah. and 2.2 .2, roughly 2.2 .2 was going towards the capital mm. 2.8 was going towards the interest and this is a year later so this can you imagine when it started it was yeah like... it was probably even higher it was way... <laughs> guys guys can you imagine paying 2.8 for just mm. the interest i mean what mm. so that's what we were doing and by the time we realized this 
we were so focused on getting rid of debt we were mm. like there's no way this yeah. does not make sense nice yeah and i think the really important thing that we we realized at that point is that we actually weren't using the car that much yes like yeah. that car we were always together so we always travel in one car mm. so at that point there's always one car in the garage mm. and it was just for work mm. and so we just sit the whole day it just didn't make sense mm. we didn't need it so it was at that point that we decided no we're getting rid of this car mm. we don't need this car we're paying way too much for it and yo that was difficult <laughs> guys mm. uh, black people will know this this term <laughs> that is a syndrome it's an actual thing it's not an actual syndrome but it's a thing guys because yeah. you think let me translate it it means what what are people gonna say yeah. because now we've sold them a picture and then now we are downgrading yeah so now what does that mean well, are they now poor are they now yeah, you know affordability issues. exactly yeah. you know and yo that thing hit me hard and usually i don't care i really couldn't be bothered when people think about me or my finances or us or anything mm. but that time it hit me hard simply because i've also never seen anyone do something like that i've mm. never you know if somebody's car is all of a sudden no longer in their garage and it's like you was repossessed mm. so i didn't know that you could actually do this you know mm. be like i i made a mistake please yeah. take your car back yeah. you know <laughs> i didn't know that you could do that and so i knew that people wouldn't know that that's what we did people would think it was repossessed you know mm. so I, all of a sudden had all these things confronting me but thank god that the commitment to the journey was stronger than those fears yeah that i was just like mm -mm, it's fine the car's gotta go, go you yeah. know and so we sold the car and i think what the importance of this thing is that this journey is serious yeah. this journey is so serious and to us it's so 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 serious mm. because we we kept envision and we continue to envision ourselves just having no debt like yes, yeah. can you imagine what you can do with your money when you don't have exactly, people yeah. dipping their fingers into yeah. your account you know yeah. so so we had to do it and it's not just about getting rid of debt that you have like oh clothing accounts okay let me close mm. things off but it also speaks about getting rid of things that you have no use for and things that are setting you back mm. and that car was a huge setback it to was. us it was going to be a massive mm. massive massive loss in the long term because paying five thousand rand a month for about six years mm. And then paying the residual at the end of that six years because you still have to pay. Yeah, you still have to pay that. You must still pay that residual yeah. for a car that would have depreciated like this. Yeah, that's how cars depreciate. Yeah. The road that doesn't. That had pay. depreciated. It had already. <laughs> it had already. <laughs> it had already depreciated so much yeah. that when we sold it, we had to pay the dealership. <laughs> money to take the car because of the settlement amount that was yeah, still left off it was massive like yeah it was big. so you have to pay someone to take to you. buy your car <laughs> so this was a very yeah. very expensive lesson for us it was like, quite yeah. it was very expensive but yeah. I, I don't think we would change a thing about it yeah no we've no, learned no. so much yeah. from from that and it, it's also taken us so much further yeah. um having gotten gym, rid yeah, of the car yeah. like it was so good for us so so <laughs> i'm happy we did that and yeah that's sort of where we we at and mm. um it, things continue to get serious because mm. that was just like one of the things that really for us like cemented mm. the the gravity of 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 this journey we were like yo mm. i know we're not playing <laughs> and i think also then people like family members started taking us seriously because they sort of heard that yeah we just trying something different something mm. new mm. but when they saw us getting rid of the car they were like eh? yeah and they didn't they didn't really agree with it but we didn't yeah. i don't want to say we didn't care but yeah. we didn't care <laughs> <laughs> you do what you have to do you're just for like your ah guys we're paying for this yeah. yeah and for the vision that you guys have exactly yeah. so that's what happened with the suv so it's gone now yeah. and we couldn't be happier we have one car now <laughs> so we're always together now we proper i know always together we are like this <laughs> and it's actually been so good i yes. love it because he drives and i just sit and like yeah yep, yeah yep, yeah yep. the whole time <laughs> but it's great yeah. so yeah so there's yeah so there's that mm. now there's an actual topic for today yes. um which uh is so important because this is like the foundation mm. of of us getting um getting the ball rolling into uh mm. paying off our debt mm. so before we could even start now plugging in all the cash that we had um towards getting rid of our debt mm. 
we had to do two things that were very very important and i'll touch on on the first one which is budgeting yes yeah budgeting budget like mm. basic 101 budget mm. no fancy budget just that, basic budget mm. income expenses tada mm. how much are you left with that's what it that's what mm. it is and that's what we did it, to the point that like mm. every month without fail before we get paid we have a meeting it's not even a date we sit down mm. And we are partners in this thing, eh? We sit down and we're like, okay, cool. So, mm-hmm. household expenses, yep. yes. transport, yes. Yeah. ad hoc, what, what, everything. We we have it listed. Um, I write it out because I'm old school. He's got an Excel <laughs> spreadsheet because he's a nerd. <laughs> and he likes well, IT I'm things. <laughs> <laughs> and so we, we do that. And, and of course, we don't like just write bread and starve ourselves because we're on a different journey of course we're people so we want a certain certain level level of of, of nice things and comfort but now going now we have we're very realistic about it as well Mm. and we also don't want to splurge so we make sure that we keep things nice and tight to the point that now we know the budget like like wake me up at two i'll sing the budget (laughs) now i know the budget and I know if we are five and short, like that's mm. how much you need to know your money. And it helps also with our dynamics, considering the fact that yes. I'm a spender, so and you a saver. Yeah. So having the budget does. Oh, it does. <laughs> it does. It does, does yeah. really in a bit. Yeah, yeah, it does. It yeah. actually makes such a big difference because the reason why we, we I mean, we we don't fight about money. Mm. We don't we don't mm. have any disagreements regarding money mm. because there's a budget. And and if he's like ah. Ish, I wanted to do but I'm like, but you didn't put it in the budget. So mm. you have to wait till next month and put it in the next month's budget. Mm. But this month's budget is closed. It's closed. It's yeah. closed. So mm. unless, of course, it's like something that he needs, guys, or something mm. that I need. Yeah. And of course, yeah, we're not like, ah, yeah. this is not, yeah. we're not a state-owned entity, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Well, but. they should have us running the <laughs> show. <laughs> <Silly>. <laughs> yeah, true. So, so there is flexibility, but mm. you need to be so strict on yourself um, regarding the budget. And that's what we we've, we've been doing. So yeah. so the nice thing about the budget, like I said, is that it gives you the the, the, the freedom to spend mm. um, because then you know exactly how much you have and you know how much is going yes. away. Wait. So you yeah. tell it to go ten thousand rand go to my bond, mm. twelve thousand rand go to whatever anything yeah. you know you yeah. tell it where to go mm. instead of spending your money and then at the end of the month or halfway through then you wonder yeah. where did my money go yeah. so with the budget you don't get that mm. and lastly it gives you that beautiful um number at the end after subtracting your your expenses from your income and then that now is going to allow you that's going to be the money that you're going to use mm. to get yes. out of debt yeah um but before i get into that he's got something to say. well yes before you, <laughs> <laughs> you have to start with baby step number one yes yes, yes, yes. that's where all things start and um just a little bit of background um this program that we using or mm. used um is from dave ramsey's financial peace university mm. and it's basically seven steps mm. um on how to get out of debt stay out and to flourish with your money you know um, but it's a, an American thing that he had written it or yeah. created it for the American market. Yeah. So we've had to adapt it for ourselves for the South African context. Yeah. Because we have to take into consideration black tax. Yeah. We have to take into consideration history. Yes. And everything else that comes with being a South African, mm. essentially. And probably money behaviors are different. Like, yes. Yeah. If you compare South African ones to mm. American ones and all of those things. So yes. we had to personalize this yes, thing for yes, us. For ourselves. Yeah. yeah. So yes, back to step one. So step one essentially is having an emergency fund. So this is a lump sum of cash that you will use in case of an emergency. Yeah. Hence the term. Mm. So that you know um, when you're on your journey, if anything happens, you don't have to go dip back into your credit card. Yeah. Go get a new loan, fresh new credit, yes. you know. No, you yeah. can service whatever emergency. And this is small to medium sized emergencies mm. that we're speaking about. So you can service that using the money that you know is yours. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, so, and it's actually, in fact, what happened with us is two months after we saved our emergency fund. Yeah. An emergency <laughs> happened. Yeah, boo. We haven't had emergencies up until that yeah. point. <laughs> and as we finish, we get an emergency. So... Um, it goes back to when we were getting married. We were still excited. We don't know a lot of things In about. Nothing that you get excited <laughs> too often. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we buy a house. Yeah. And we don't we don't know everything about owning a house. I knew nothing. I knew something at least. <laughs> I. 
So, um, <laughs> well, I knew that we had to pay the bond. And okay, I knew, I knew that, that. Yes, and then we had to pay the levies as well. Um, the rates, I, I knew about them. I just didn't know how to touch and go. Yeah, it was touch and go. I didn't know how this thing went. I assumed rates and levies the same thing. You pay yeah, one person yeah. and then you're done. Yeah. So, it so, it so happens that then we get the house and our levies are covered for the year. Yeah. And my assumption is then because it's one thing that the rates are covered as well. I'm going to find out that no, our rates are not covered. Um, so on a Friday, we're chilling, just chilling on a Friday. Yeah. A year later, and we get a call from the municipality, the city of Tswani. Yeah. <laughs> so this lady tells me that, sir, you owe the municipality rates and taxes. Mm-hmm. You haven't paid rates and taxes since you've owned the house. <laughs> And I'm like, how? Oh, what are you talking about? My levies are being paid every month. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. I'm on a debt free journey now, yeah. Bruna, so as far as I know, I'm paying everything. Ah. Then she goes to explain ah, there's a difference actually between the levies and the rates and taxes. So you owe your on your rates and taxes. Yeah. And she wasn't nice about it. No, she was horrible. She was not nice. Literally, I will never forget her voice and I'll never forget <laughs> her saying. It haunts you. <laughs> Never forget her saying, no, baby, no, Lala, <laughs> but you almost, you're not paying. I'm like this lady. I, I did get a bit irritated there because oh, I only have one baby here. What are you talking about? But anyway. <laughs> and I don't hustle you for money. <laughs> like, and she's pushing yeah, it in that I was, owe money. She was yeah. right in there. She was mean about it. But anyway. So I'm trying to suss out, is this a scam? Is this a prank? Yeah. What's happening? Yeah. So eventually, at the end of the conversation, I tell her that we'll make an arrangement and we'll make payment. And this was me buying myself time to go verify that this is actually yeah. a thing, yeah. you know, that we actually do owe money. Because we were convinced it was it was a joke. Like, yes, yeah, like, oh, no ways. Yeah. But anyway, it turns out that we did actually owe money. <laughs> Um, and thank God for that emergency fund because yes. it turned that emergency into an inconvenience. 100%. We didn't even have to sit down and discuss mm-hmm. how we're going to get the money, mm. where we're going to get the money from. Yeah. Do we need to go get a new loan? Yeah. 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 So literally that emergency was turned into an inconvenience. Yeah. And that's the power of having an emergency yes. fund. So then you don't have to keep extra credit cards. You don't have yes. to keep extra contacts of loan sharks or it loans. Does. Delete you know, their numbers, just, in case. just get rid yeah. of it all. Yeah. yeah, so you can service any emergency, small to medium emergencies, of yeah. course, that you can service them as and when they arise. Yeah. And it is important for you to define what is an emergency for you and your family or for you as an individual, yes. essentially. Yeah, because a sale is yeah. not an emergency. No, it's not. We would love for sales to be an emergency. It's not an emergency. Yeah. Your friend saying, hey, friend, I'm coming over to your house. <laughs> and you realize you don't have groceries. And now you need to buy. That's not, it's not. an emergency. Yeah. Tell your friend to stay at home. Mm. Or tell your friend to come with groceries. Yes. I feel like it's <laughs> All of those things. Th- mm. Those are not emergency. Well, at least for us. We mm. had to go like, no. It needs to be serious things for mm. us to tap into that that um, bit of savings. Mm. Because... Otherwise, what are we doing? We are pushing yeah. and pulling, you mm. know. So you need mm. to be like super serious and be honest with yourself mm. because no one can tell you what an emergency is in your life. Mm. You have to define that mm. and be true to yourself. Yes, yeah. To what is an emergency? Yeah. And also, then when it comes to saving for the emergency fund, if you're not too sure where am I going to get this money from or yeah. whatsoever, that's where the budget comes in. Hundred percent. Yeah. You yeah. plan. You plan. You put down all the money that comes in. You put down all the money that comes out. Then you know what's left over. Then you can plan allocate, how much yeah. and you allocate how much you can save towards your emergency fund. Yeah. And you decide. You know your lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> you know pretty much the things that you get up to. Yes. So you can almost gauge some of the things. Yeah. You know? yeah. Um, a, a good starting point, according to the book by Dave Ramsey, would be a thousand dollars. Yeah. Um, but well, in South Africa right now, a thousand dollars is rent. not. Yeah. <laughs> So that's why we're saying the, yeah. the, the power's in your hands, really. Mm. You decide um, how much you're going to, to save. But make sure that it's going to serve you well yes. in case of an emergency. Yes. So, so it must be fluid, essentially. Yes. It can't be in a 32-day savings account. And it also can't be like 200 rand. Be realistic. Yeah. You need mm. to make sure. But also don't make it 50,000 rand. Well, because yes. yeah. what you're trying to do is get rid of debt, mm. not just save up money, mm. you know. Yeah. So... And if you already have savings, that's great. Because mm. then you can sort of transition that into a nice savings account that it's not 32-day notice mm. or whatever. So that mm. if you need it, you can access it. Yes. But I'll also give you a hack. 
you might not like it if you want to make money <laughs> if you want to make quick money this is the first time and the last time i ever talk about quick money sell your goods yes sell your wigs yeah. ladies sell your wigs sell, sell them <laughs> i've sold wigs you sell i've made platters for people sell stuff yeah make stuff sell <laughs> anything and if everything has that has value that you can sell you can yeah. you can go to cash crusaders and things like that if you have an old laptop an old cell phone mm. like an old microwave mm. if guys sell it mm. and then you get maybe a thousand rand you get maybe 700 mm. throw that money yeah this is the time to declutter yes. and get money into yeah. your account yeah. so you can use those hacks mina i'm i'm game <laughs> <laughs> So, so that's something that you can do to mm. just help you get started because it's so important to have that cushioning yes. because life is going to happen mm. guys you can plan to the t but life is going to happen yes. and when it does happen make sure that you don't fall flat on your bottom mm. you have a nice soft cushioning to, to mm. help you land so that you can get back up on your feet real quick yes okay so yeah so that is that it is for it. today yeah. please make sure that you share like subscribe you know the drill mm -hmm. and of course comment yeah. and we will check more next, next. episode Thank cool. you so much for Thank watching, you. guys. Bye. Cheers.